It's hard because like as a student, you're seeing other people express themselves successfully and you you tend to want to like, well, I could, I could express that same thing, but it's, you have something else that's in your own desires. You have your own original thing. And so to find your own original thing is, is tricky because sometimes it's just the thing that you would never think of, you know? When, you know, you have a secret like um, strength that you have to discover, like your superpower. The fact that I was always an artistic child, I was just never really given the outlet to really make art, you know? Because everybody in my family worked like service level jobs, I never really knew that that was an option, you know, that, that one could design things and make a living. And so I, I still wanted to do something that was artistic, but I wanted to make something that like my dad could understand, that they could say, oh, you spent this much time making something, but it's gorgeous and you can sit on it. One of the things about architecture is that uh, it's very difficult to deny as you walk around the city. It is there, it's very present. Beyond the buildings, beyond any of the forms that we're making, any of the spaces we're making, to try to prove that, uh, not only to myself, but uh, beyond the office, that architecture belongs in this world. The importance of storytelling, you know, like that's sort of the thing that I've, I, I've, been, I've cultivated since maybe um, the early 80s, which was something, it was sort of a direction and a choice that, that I was making at RISD. I was, I wanted to see if I could make something that you would see on TV, you know, like that was an objective. I never saw the world the same way after that first year at RISD. Design, in the way that, that RISD teaches it, it teaches you to see the world and to be confident enough in your ideas and the way that you see the world to make something of consequence. That was literally like a first home for me. And uh, for that, that's really precious. Creating relationships with the world around you, with the community around you. RISD is definitely a very significant introduction to who I am. Watching that, uh, the fact that this this professor that I had so much admiration for could actually be delighted by something that I had created made me feel like I had something to say. I happen to love the place and, and feel like if I'm going to put that hard work in somewhere, I'm so fortunate that it's here. As a teacher, always wanted it to be um, a challenging and rigorous space, but one that um, was always constructive and always gave someone a place to go with their work rather than a judgment. Your art could be anything you wanted it to be. If it was, you know, um, baking a cake, that could be your work. From there, I found like a whole new language from which to design. And when you make really meaningful work, it's things that you're emotionally invested in. It helps you make decisions much better when you know how it connects to your personal story. And that was something that I learned at RISD. We would all be in studio together uh, late at night, painters, glass blowers, graphic designers, architects, friends who were just interested in each other's work, where the specifics of your discipline didn't matter so much, but the cohesion of your ideas and your beliefs uh, brought you together. I keep trying to make RISD, even here in the office. This is the piece which is going to, which is showing in Times Square. The opening scene is with like an entire field of millions and millions of gopi hair. And you don't realize that it's all made out of units which are very rigid in shape. There's so many ways to look at the same material. There's so many ways for us to understand our own potential. I think as an artist, that's a wonderful gift, the investment in, in an idea. Like the Sixth Street Bridge, one of the things that has increasingly come to motivate me there's this whole world that, that has this huge effect on our day in, day out life and is largely anonymous, but could be so much more productive, have so much more of a role in our urban scape. And I've become more and more motivated to try to find a way to, to bring design to that. But I always have kind of felt like a really deep sense of responsibility to be a role model for all the different 
things that I represent as a woman, as a Mexican-American, be a role model, as a mother now. The world needs a kind of nimble thinker, a creative mind, a, a mind that sees things in multiple perspectives at the same time, and a person who can feel very comfortable being in that uncertain space of creating something new. 